what we have successfully managed to do over the last couple of years um, is to create a culture that is, is a lot more vibrant um, creatively than it has been for a good while, I think. Success for the BBC for a new show actually translates into opportunity for all of us. It's a very weird market. Competition doesn't mean head on, kill each other. It tends to mean uh, that a little bit, but more it's about demonstrating the value of IP type collaboration at times. If you've got a world where you're not competing for your in-house guarantee, I bet it's a different and more difficult place, weirdly, in some respects, than a world where everything's competitive, so the best man wins. These huge global platforms have changed quite a lot of stuff in our sector. I think there is that global word. You know, we make, we probably make 20 or 30 series for Netflix currently. It's not just scripted, it's also documentary, it's also now entertainment, and it's factual entertainment. Can you imagine a world without the ease of access to content, be it tape, already produced acquisition tape or original. Can you imagine, I could go on, what, you know, the expectations of the public have changed dramatically. We were making the examples of the shows I give, which have got far more interactivity, for example. In drama, we're now trying to make sure that we can produce drama at the 600, 700 level, 1,000 an hour level, for local broadcasters with partnerships. It's still not fully funded necessarily, by the way. We still piece together the rest of the funding from international distribution. But the point is, we need as producers to be doing much more than just doing the high budget, high production quality.